I always told Kleitza when we took the Rialta he should be captain, but he insisted he couldn't. Didn't get it at the time, he had the experience, the wit, the discipline. He made a different excuse every time. But I guess he was afraid the Federation had rooted in too deep. I wasn't going to press him too hard. Anyways, it was his choice to make. When we had staged the mutiny, at least the last part of it, everyone else just watched. Everyone but cleats, that is. Captain Paps always said a leader has to stand alone, and I guess that rubbed off on them. Thank the stars, in most ways, he was wrong. Unfortunately for us, he was prepared to be wrong. I'll be telling you a little bit about the planet Carcelium today. The first thing you'll want to do is pack sunscreen. Unless you're actually made of fire, you will burn. Despite being an inhospitable desert, Carcelium hosts one of the most famous trade markets in the galaxy. If you have shopping to do, this is the place to do it. The Carcerites built these cities, and they have more experience with tech than most of us on the Rialta combined. So, you'll want to be respectful. People don't mess with them for two good reasons. One, they have a terrifying influence over the economy. Two, they killed the people that enslaved them. Someone's coming. Hello, Psyche. What is it? We run background checks on all of our recruits. And according to our records, your friend Kenite, sorry, Richard, is technically official property of a previous member of the Realta Damsoir. <sighs> Under Chester, the Realta isn't in that business anymore. However, the black market organization that kept you two is. See, liberation forms are expensive, and under conventional law, we aren't authorized to set you free. But I'm of the impression that we can help each other out. Something feels off about this place. Off? Off how? I don't know. Something about the air, maybe? All I know is that it feels really, really hot. Oh. I wonder why. Oh well, whatever. I'm more interested in the fact that we're at the coolest trade city in the galaxy! Decorative silks infused with nanoweave graphene! Ooh! Trinkets from everywhere between the Kepler and Nikos regions! Ooh! Antimatter fuel canisters! Oh, right. But even if I can't afford anything from here, at least I get to see the sand whales again. Son of Orion, they're gorgeous! Oh, I know. I've always wanted to ride one. Apparently, the Festival of Queens is coming up, so I'm hoping they'll mark down the price for visitors. So, 
How much for that snake in your hood? What? No, she's not for sale. What in the world does a scrapper need a glowing blue snake for? She's my seeing eye snake. Your seeing eye snake? Yes. Um, Laddie, tell me if this is valuable. Nia, honey, that is a hunk of junk. How about these? Not what we're looking for, but those are some very nice shipboard nightlights. Oh, I can give you 10 credits each. 20 credits. 15 credits. Deal. Three from one stall? Right? I wonder how many more we can find before heading back. What? You want to look for more? Of course I do. We gotta get in the good graces of Cheesy Muffins and his gang of misfits, don't we? I'd rather not attract any more attention than we already... Ugh. <gasps> that little... It must be another realtor recruit. Come on, Nia, let's go. Well, um, we still have two. So we'll be fine. No, we need each and every relic we can get. We have to go after him. You know the Rialta crew was satisfied with two last time. Why would we need more? Laddie, wait! Are you in trouble, shapeshifter? What do you mean by shapeshifter? No need to be apprehensive. All us carcerites are connected. We can tell who is ours and who is not. Also, your antennae are wrong. Is there anything I have to worry about? Oh, it's quite all right. You are hardly the only one. They are quite similar to you. If I am right in assuming that you need to consume energy to live, that is why I ask if you are alright. There are many magic supplements being sold across New Carcelia. Perhaps they could help you. My friend has medication for me, but thanks. Blue Serpent! Please do not rest upon the statue of our queen! Oh, sorry. Didn't mean any disrespect. Ah, I wasn't fast enough. Excuse me. I'm sorry to bother, but you don't look like you're from around here. My name's Psyche. Have you seen my friend? His name's Richard. He has a left eye like mine. He's a human with vitiligo. Or he's got a pumpkin for a head. What? Pumpkin? You know, like a big orange gourd? He probably has pink cracks running all over his body right now. You just described three different people. He's a shapeshifter. Shapeshifting? Does he have a white metal arm? Yes! I think we know who you're talking about. Our best bet is to think like he does. If I were a thief, where would I go? If he's a shapeshifter, maybe he's hiding in the crowd. But the back streets have a lot more overhead cover. Mm, well, I have a hunch he doesn't want that kid to find him. He'd be trying to get out of sight. His arm isn't subtle either. We should check the back streets. Are you hurt? 
We just want the relic back. There's plenty more around the city. We ran into your friend Psyche. He's looking for you. But you didn't want to be found, did you? I needed to do this without Psyche around. He's too... He wouldn't like watching this. Well, good for you! No one's watching now! Why do you feel like the map pieces? Parasite. He's an energy parasite. Stop the plaza straight out of me. There you are. Psyche. How much magic have you been using? We need to get going. What did you run into? Two other contestants. Wait, I bet it was just Nia and Lottie. I'm sure I can talk to... There they are! Okay, maybe we should talk later. Oh my. Uh, huge. Hello. Hello, soft ones. Have you come to view the preparation of the festival? We're kind of tore in Kile. Kurita. What is wrong with your friend? He's his core is so damaged, so he needs energy. Ah, I see. He is energy dependent. May some kind sun eaters assist them? Sun Eaters, of course. That's why I was getting weird vibes from this place. They're the race that infests stars, aren't they? Yep, that's them getting their grubby little chicken hands all over everything. And, I mean, that's fine. To an extent, we hate them, but everyone's gotta live. You just don't have to destroy an entire star to do it. Queen Iridia. Should I bow? Oh. There is no need, little one. Oh. Psyche, your friend stole our map piece. I... I realized. You know why I had to do it. We found multiple pieces from one shopkeeper. I'm sure you can find more, too. We don't have any money. Um, you could look in the desert? We only have enough fuel for a return trip. I can help you with that? The best way you can help us is by letting us have this relic. Look, this isn't a matter of debate. Give us the map piece, cut your losses, and scram before the realtor finds you. We don't have any losses to cut. We have nothing. The star dancer found out we escaped from the black market on our planet. If we fail, we go straight back to the slave ring. Look, buddy, you're an energy manipulator, aren't you? You should know better than anyone else what's inside those relics, and how important it is that they get put in the right hands. Do you? No. I have no idea what she's talking about. <sighs> have we really gone that out of flavor? A moment, please. I had the impression that the realtor was not of that business. The slave business. When I was put under Vavictus, they gave me a collar under the realtor's name. Hmm. When we agreed to let the Sun Eaters live among us, 
we made it clear what kind of history our people have. We were under the impression that the realtor shared our values of trust and of community. We were told that the realtor does not enslave others as we had once been. Ignatius of the Star Dancer, you are still here waiting on that whale, Ambergris, are you not? What have you to say to this? <sighs> I just wanted to make a Sunday. Look, let me call my crewmate. Cleats will explain this better than I ever could. Queen Iridia, it's an honor. You speak to me of honor, and yet this soft child claims you will make these three to be slaves. It's true that a member of our crew once owned Mr. Richard Dial. However, he has since been removed from the picture. These three are here for our search for the Star Vault map pieces, not on our explicit command. What? That's not what you... He threatened to sell us back if we didn't find a map piece. We are not legally allowed to liberate them, as they were never our assets. However, we also have no interest in their bounty, and we're pirates. We can let them go whenever we please. Metal One. You work for the realtor as well, do you not? To what degree of truth does Cletus Agnara of the Star Dancer tell? I... I... I joined voluntarily. To have my ship repaired. And out of personal interest. They waived my debts on entry. Hmm. Very well. In that case... But! It's true that the Rialta has implied negative consequences for the people that fail! I'm under constant pressure, and I don't know if I trust the Star Dancer's crew! I don't know what will happen if you give Richard and Psyche back to them! And I don't think you should! I understand. He's right there. Kletos, I will take care of these three from here. He will relinquish custody of them to me for the price of their listed bounties. 20,000 credits. Queen Iridio. 40,000 credits, then. This is in your best interest. Under honor of your Sun Eaters, under honor of our history, and under your honor, Soldier of the Federation. All right. I understand. You two, we'll be taking your first relic before you leave. We appreciate the offer, but these three were never ours to sell. Then it is done. Thank you. The Carcerites have ensured the freedom of three more people today. We hereby offer you the full extent of Carcelian protection for as long as you wish to stay. Well... That's all wrapped up. Wait, Nia! I was planning to throw it away. Good riddance. <laughs> yeah, we won't be needing any more. But... Then I noticed. This is... this is a good sign. What, really? Yes. I've been... <sighs> Thank you for showing me this. Oh, well. I'm glad that it helps.
Hey, Nia, I'd like to tell you something. I'm in trouble. The Sun Eater saw me. He knows that I know too much. The real Realta crew will figure it out eventually, even without Richard around to give them a hint. It's just a matter of time. <sighs> I don't regret how things turned out, but I still wish things could have gone differently. In any case, I'm supposed to trust you. I should have just told you when you asked why the relics were so valuable to me. Tell me what? I am a constellation spirit. We're like dryads to the stars. We tether ourselves to them. They give us stability, and in return, we protect them. What does a star need protecting from? Besides the rare cosmic scale stuff like keeping them from running into each other, people who want to abuse them. Dyson sphere architects, sun eaters. They seem to be getting along with the carcerites. Maybe they found a way to balance things out? Asteria, I hope so. Even if those Sun Eaters have things straight, I've seen enough of them going out of control in the last few years to know they're bad news. The Star Spirits need to come back. Hold my relic for a sec. That's millions of people in the palm of your hand. What? Huh. <laughs> The Realta says they don't deal in slavery anymore, but really, they just got better at hiding it. This one here's got my family. Serpentes. Moved Testudines and Octopoda over to this relic a while ago. Don't know what spirits the three relics you bought are holding yet. I can feel them, but I can't talk to them. The best I can do is let them know I'm here. Laddie. I woke up one day and found the Serpentis map piece floating in front of my star. It was so quiet. I know the Realta doesn't have any good intentions. They started trapping us decades ago. So, I'll tell you why people want us so badly, and why I wanted to join in on Chester Murphy's search across the galaxy. The Star Vault sent out map pieces to trap constellation spirits because it needs them for energy. <laughs> Star power, you could call it. There's a thousand different ways Chester can use it, and none of them are good. I can't let that happen. Nia, I want to destroy the Star Vault. So much for letting us keep them here. They just need to stay undercover until we can get their situation all sorted out. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Of course! It's not the first time I've given a room to some mysterious stragglers. Actually, I should let you know, I've got a visitor I didn't expect. Haven't seen him in over 15 years. He'll only be staying for a day or two. <laughs> Do you think you boys will mind? Yes. Cece. What's he like? He's a good man! Sweet, but he's been through a lot. <laughs> You'll get along just fine. <laughs> I thought he'd already gone to bed!